Morning everyone, how are we today? Hope you've had a great week so far, looking forward to Christmas. So today I just want to go through another technique and it's for the hamstrings, for the back of the legs. We all suffer from tight hammies every now and again, or it could be this is generally where you're sitting down a lot in your job. You always get tight in the back of the legs where obviously the legs, hammies get very, very short from sitting down. And they're not really always kind of loading, helping yourself sit in a position, but they're not really doing anything. So to stay in one position, so we need to open those hammies up, just lengthen the muscles, to take the tension off. We lengthen the muscles, then we get them moving a little bit better, less tension on the lower back, and it helps with our posture as well. Okay, especially when we're, we're bending down, picking something up from the floor. Um, if we're leaning over, we want that hammy length to help, okay? So I think it helps get the hips moving better as well. So i um, just got a basic chair here. So all I'm going to show you to do is just basically using a chair. So I'm just going to put that chair into view. So with the chair, what we're going to do is literally just put my heel onto the chair. So from here, I just want to put my leg on it. So what I want to do with my other foot is I want to get my foot so it's facing away. So I'm going to open my hip up. Okay? So I'm just going to adjust that actually, just to you can see that we are So obviously don't use a good chair at home, get told by the Mrs. or your partner, have something there or have it obviously bare feet, or if you've got a cushion, put a cushion on just to protect your foot a little bit. Alright? So what I want to do is just have that leg straight, toe pointing forwards. Other leg, so I've got the hip, first of all, facing forward, so my shoulders are facing the same way. So it's going to open this hip up, on, obviously, on my left side. All I want to do is work through the ranges. So, first one, I'm going to run my hand down the inside of the leg. So run the hand down the inside of the leg, and I'm going to try and touch my ankle. So I just want to keep the back nice and flat, and then come up. So from here, you'll feel it inside the thigh. Okay, so I've got to keep the hip facing out, just come down. So then you've got that movement through the hip, so you're helping your lower back as well move slightly better, and then coming down, just literally touching the ankle. So feel that stretch on the inside of the knee. And you feel the back of the tendons as well, they're gonna release that tension. So now I'm gonna face my hips, face my toes, right? So shoulders facing, hips facing the same way. This will be a little bit easier, you get a bit more range. So you're gonna push the hip out first of all, I'm gonna calm down, I'm gonna run my hand down, touch my toes. Okay, so I feel that tension in the back of the knee as well through the tendons, but I'm pushing my hip out behind me, using my hips first, and coming down, touch the toes, slide back up again. Now this is the awkward one. I want you to get your hip, I want you to twist over, so literally this hip, trying to twist towards that knee, okay, so closing in, so you're closing your hips in. Then your other hand, so we're using the outside hand now, twist, this one's a little bit harder, so it feels a stretch on the outside of that thigh. I'm going to come down and we're going to touch the jet. So you won't get the range in that so much because it's awkward to get to. So we get to quite tight on the outside of the thigh. So hitting the three heads of the, of the hamstrings. So again, we go back, get the hip facing out, and as we push the hip out, come down, breathe in, breathe out, come towards the ankle. Okay, twist, hips facing. Push the hip out. Think about pushing the hip out first. Go for that stretch. Top of the leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stretch through. Touch the toes. Twist again. Keep the hip obviously facing in. So you're closing the gap. So get that foot facing the same way. So you twist your hips. And then that outside hand to come down. So you won't get as much range in that one because it's going to be a lot tighter. But what we're trying to do is get the three heads and rotate up with my moving my hips. That will help loosen those hammies off. So if you say you did that three sets, so you did one leg for three sets, three times on that range, and then just change legs. So you could do that, obviously during the day, especially when you're sitting down at your lunch break, just loosen those hammies off. You can do it in the morning, we're having a cup of coffee while the kettle's boiling, so just stretch those hammies out. Um, and then you can do it at night time as well. You know, when you get home, you might have a shower, and you can lose those hands up by doing those ranges, and it will help loosen them up. It will give that better range, you take a lot of pressure off your back, and get your hips moving better as well. All right? So try that at home. It's a basic hammy stretch. So doing static stretching, we're trying to work on ability to increase the range of the hammies. It will loosen those legs up, and we get them moving better, and take that tension out. 
especially for the tendons and the hammies, and just get you moving better through the hips. Hope that's good for you guys. Let us know how you get on with that. My name's Mark Carr. This is Have a Heart Fitness. See you again very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.